We don't have a pet to feature this week from the Roanoke Valley SPCA, but we do have lots to talk about as they've been going through some big changes. Suzanne Cresswell is back with more. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And how is everything coming along with your facility? It's it's coming along. We're about two thirds of the way through. Um, we do have a, a little bit of a delay. We're looking at uh, February 10th as our day to be back open to the public now. It's about 10 days behind where we initially thought. Okay. Um, but things are still moving forward. Um, we do have a little bit of an added expense with a little bit more cleanup than than anticipated as well. So we are still looking for some, that extra push of, right. of funds. So and in the meantime, how are the animals? So we we only have about 15 animals out in foster right now, um, and so they're all doing really well. Mm -hmm. um, their small kittens went out and they are growing quickly. Um, we had some on last week. Yeah, and, um, I know. I saw them. That yeah. was very nice. <laughs> they were very sweet. So. <laughs> They'll be ready to be adopted when we open back up. Yes. And in the meantime, if you want to show your support, you guys have a 5K coming up. Can we you do. fill us in? Yes. So March 21st is the Tail Chaser 5K. Um, registration is open now. Uh, you can go to our website, rvspca.org, and find out how to enter. Um, it's $25 right now, and you can register your dog, and your dog can run or walk the course with you. Okay. So we have it. Uh, on Wiley Street or Wyler Drive in Roanoke. Right, so it's at Wasina Park. So it starts at Wasina and it goes on the Greenway. Got it. Okay, so it starts at 10 a.m. Fun way to get out and for a good cause. Absolutely. So you already mentioned it, but we'll send people back to your website, the Roanoke Valley SPCA.org. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.